The following video deals with the operation of the surgical function on the carbo treatment units with touch display. The surgical function is an optional feature and can also be retrofitted. Our Carbo Campus trainer Ulrike Nagor will guide you through the demonstration. The demonstration shows the principle of operation and does not constitute clinical training or a clinical recommendation. The operation, as well as the individual programming, takes place on the Carbo Treatment Unit's intuitive touch display. The SL600 surgical motor set required to use the surgical function is supplied, including the pump for physiological saline solution. The surgical motor must be connected to the surgical connection on the dentist element in order to be able to use the function. To do this, plug the surgical motor onto the motor coupling and secure it with the union nut. Attach the surgical instrument, place the surgical motor on the instrument tray and plug the motor cable plug into the unit connection until it snaps into place. To connect the coolant hose to the handpiece or contra-angle handpiece, route it along the motor lead from the connector on the pump through the motor to the instrument and secure it in the motor retaining ring and on the instrument with the blue clip. The distance from the motor to the first hose clip should be approximately 80 millimeters. When inserting the hose into the pump, you should pay close attention to the correct direction of flow. For this, insert the pump hose so that it is not pinched in the latch. Then select the surgery treatment type on the dentist element. Program step 1 now appears on the display. The current program step and the assigned activity are always displayed as an icon. Any activity can be assigned to each program step by selecting the corresponding icon. By visualizing the activity, it is easy to check whether the activity set on the unit corresponds to the treatment step currently to be carried out. In this way, operating errors can be largely ruled out. A treatment sequence can consist of up to 10 program steps or activities. The treatment sequence can be designed individually by arranging the activities in any way you like. You can navigate within the sequence using the foot control, so that you no longer have to touch the unit with your hand during the procedure. Depending on the application, values for the following parameters are preset for each activity. Speed, torque, gear ratio, and coolant flow rate. You can only customize the parameters within a range that makes sense for the activity. All available values can be set in the free activity. To get to the next step, type next step or briefly press the chip air button on the foot control. If you like to go back one step, tap previous step or press and hold the chip air button on the foot control. To adjust parameters in a program step, select the parameter and if desired, change the following parameters according to your needs. Activity Transmission factor Programmed speed Maximum torque Direction of motor rotation Coolant flow rate the values preset in a program step are default values to enable immediate work. Changed values can be saved and are thus available again for the next application. You can adjust the speed and torque parameters using the slider. The coolant flow rate can also be set 
using a slider control. The transmission factor can be selected from the respective list. To switch between clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation, tap on the Direction of Motor Rotation button. To save the parameters, tap Save. The changed parameters are saved in the selected parameter storage locations. To leave the menu without saving, tap Cancel. All available values can be set in the free application activity. The following parameters can be changed. Activity. Maximum torque. Programmed speed. Coolant flow rate. Transmission factor. Direction of motor rotation. To activate a spotlight with no motor and pump running, slide the cross button of the foot control to the right. The spotlight only lights up when the cross button is pressed. In the settings, the instrument light function can be selected. Tap the settings tab, select the user and the desired practitioner. Select treatment type surgery from the list. Tap instrument light to turn the instrument light on or off. The integrated one-touch calibration automatically compensates for the motor torque deviations that can be caused by the aging processes, for example. For instance, stiff or defective instruments can be detected before use. The one-touch calibration thus ensures a more precise torque on the contra-angle handpiece. Only carry out the one-touch calibration with the carvo-surgical instruments with a speed decrease of 16 to 1 or 20 to 1. Hold the motor in your hand during calibration or place it securely on the instrument tray. Please also observe all information regarding the instruments that can be used in the instructions for use. Tap the Auto Calibration button and follow the instructions on the display. Press and hold the foot control until the message Calibration Successful appears on the display. To end the calibration, tap the Cancel button. To exit surgery mode, tap the Cancel button. That was the introduction to the surgery mode of the Cavo treatment units with touch display. Thank you and see you next time.